deserve it. I couldn't earn it. But he did it anyway. In spite of me, oftentimes because of me, he looked at me and said, you know what? I can do something with that. He looked at me and said, I want that. He looked at me and said, I need that. So therefore, he is done.
So in this coming week, when the enemy comes against you, you just remind him that he's already done so.
<laughs> All right, I'm going to behave. But he's an awesome God, isn't he? He's an awesome God. Put your hands together one more time for Jesus. You may have your seat in his presence. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Good preaching make you shout. The old folks used to say, good meat make his own grain. You don't need no instruments. All you got to do is just think about how good he's been. Bill, I'm trying to keep it together. Seven is the number of completion. And we have entered into our seventh year. And as we were praying about both the theme for our anniversary, which was going to walk us into this year, God just kept saying, finish it. Finish it. He said, this is going to be the year that I complete what I say. Because I've got more for you, but I need you to bring it to a close. So if my people are willing to finish it, then God's going to start something new. And sometimes we need to shout in advance. Not that the test is over. Not that we're out of the situation or out of the woods yet. That's what this year is going to be all about. But you're going to walk into this year with a renewed sense that you're going to come out of this year unlike any other year before. See, it's different facing a test when you know that the end has come. When you know that this struggle and that temptation is about to come to a close. There's a new level of tenacity that is growing in the hearts and the minds of his people as we prepare to finish it. God is going to complete what he said. And I thank God for sending my rabbi into the house in order to set the tone for a great church to get greater. We're expecting greater glories. We're expecting greater revelations. Greater blessings. Greater strength. Greater peace. Greater love. And greater anointing. He's been too great. He's been too great for us not to become. Can you put your hands together one more time for the preacher?